All right, Rippers, good to see you. This weekend was an excellent weekend for the hunt for ammo, right? But I know you see some other things on here other than ammo. That's because we had our yearly sportsman's show. And at the sportsman's show was also a gun show in the smaller building, right? So there was all kinds of cool stuff to find, right? And uh, let's go over it now. Now, in the sportsman show part, right? As you can see, I got this really cool shirt right here, right? Ooh, oh, 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 fallen ammo, fallen ammo. It's raining. Anyway, got this cool shirt that said group therapy. I thought that that was cute. It was cute to think, you know, get it, group therapy, like it's a therapy, it's a group. But really, we're shooting groups, right? Because that's what I like to do, shoot groups, right? Group therapy, how cool is that, right? That is a cool shirt. You'll see me wearing that in future videos. Uh, if you want a shirt like, shirt like this, well, heck, you could just go ahead and go to uh, ghost.com uh, and ask him to make you one maybe, right? So that being said, I wanted to give a shout out to some of the people that I was there with. Uh, first off, we'll start with, look at that cool hat right there. Being from Oregon, this is an Oregonian hat right in camo it is so cool now that being said it's a really cool company too because believe it or not this he actually had uh trademarked and and patented and all that kind of stuff so it's actually his he owns it and the company's name uh is is uh right here the american swag company right see that there's the information right there if you want to go check them out uh, check them out. Tell them Rip Curl sent you, right? And uh, show them some love, right? Because this guy right here, believe it or not, by having a, a logo like that and actually spending the time and money to have it patented or trademarked and all that, you know, he's really putting the fight back. And he does put money back into the fight. So check him out. He's got all kinds of things to choose from, uh, including he does stickers and that kind of thing. Like that one right there. Look at that. That's going to go on one of my water jugs for sure, right? That is an excellent. I'm an Oregonian and I'm into 2A. Woohoo, right? And then he has this one, which looks like the Oregon State symbol, except it's the way it should be, right? 2A friendly. I love it. I love it. So go check him out. Tell him hi from the Rip Curl crew, right? Right. All right. So also, we checked out the non lead hunting. Uh, education. Now, I have shorts for all of these people that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, so be sure to check out my shorts when they come out. Uh, and uh, these guys are going over all of the the good things about hunting without lead. And, and you know, it's not necessarily as much as an environmental thing as it is a performance thing. So go check out the video that I'm going to have coming out from that, uh, that goes over all of the all of the pros and cons and why, because quite honestly, I use solid copper bullets that have no lead uh, because they penetrate, they penetrate real good. So be sure to go check those out. Be sure to check out that video, give them some love as well, right? Uh, also, stop by Three Rivers Ammo, right? Three Rivers Ammo is local. Uh, I believe it's up in Grants Pass, right? Uh, they're a great company, they were there. Uh, also at uh, the the gun show. So if you're having a hard time finding ammo, well, you can maybe check them out. Uh, not selling any ammo on here, not giving any information like that. Just check them out. You got to do your own search for that kind of thing. Also, some great things we have going on in Oregon is, is we've got some great whiskey companies out of the Portland area. And uh, that made the sportsman show lots of fun because they were giving us little tasters. Uh, of some whiskey. I tell you what, one was super smooth and then there was the one on the opposite end that was woo-wee. That's what I'll say. So go check them out. Bird Creek Distillery, right? And uh, give them some love, right? Uh, and they will ship and all that kind of stuff. Also, a real important one. This is a video that's coming out that you all should watch is Oregon gun law, right? This guy works with all of these places right here. They will actually, he's our local person that they, like if I was a member of USCCA, which I'm going to be, uh, or Armed Citizens Legal Defense Network, the NRA, any of these, uh, OCDLA or OFF, um, this is the local 
attorney that will uh, be the one that they pay to defend me if I happen to have to defend myself uh, and it was justified or unjustified, but uh, mainly justified because, uh, of course, you know, I can't just go out there blazing people and expect to get somebody to pay for my defense. But other than that, uh, these guys will defend you if you have to get into a situation where you have to protect yourself, your friends, and your family, right? Uh, and the people in your general vicinity. So uh, I, it was really nice meeting him. Check out that video. He gave me a cool sticker right here. Now, who doesn't love that sticker, right? Uh, if you don't, put it in the comment section. Uh, and uh, let's see. Well, I got some other cool stickers. This was from Rogue Ops. There's going to be a cool video coming out from them. They're a local uh, AR-15 builder, they build some of the sexiest AR-15s where they take the time and, uh, the, you know, and the precision to build some really nice firearms. And I'm really thinking about a six point, f uh, six millimeter arc, right? We're going to be doing some talking with these guys in the future, maybe about building a six millimeter arc and doing some testing on it to see, is it battlefield proven? Can it be right? Can it hold up to some speed rather than just, uh, accuracy? Cause we already know they're accurate. So that being said, got another cool sticker for one of my water jugs. Uh, and, uh, let's see, uh, that's pretty much the swag and things. Of course, I got another giveaway gun for somebody when they're in need during SHTF. <laughs> I know you guys like that video. I was glad you liked it. Now, that being said, I picked up at the gun show. This is where we found the ammo. So this is the hunt for ammo part of the the show, right? I found these. They're Dura Mags. If you're looking and you're not going to just get Magpul, and there's nothing wrong with Magpul. He had Lancer Mags, but they sold out real quick because that's another great mag. Uh, but if you wanted some good steel mags, quality steel mags, and the, the, the thing about these is sometimes steel mags just work better in some firearms or they fit better or they fit better in your gear. So I picked up three of these. Now check this out. Look at how beautiful those are. Nicely built, good welds, right? For 223 or 556. They fit great. They have their name on the rear. You probably can't see it, but it says Duramag. Uh, the nice thing about it is, is they have a special follower that has been improved for better feeding. Uh, but not only just the shape of it's been improved, but it's also a anti-tip follower. So if I put my finger in here, it doesn't get all bound up. Like do this to your uh, uh, magazine. And if it gets all jammed up and whatnot, you need to get a different follower. But this company right here, Duramag, makes a great magazine. And I got a great price on them, just over $10 a piece. So that's not too bad. Picked up three of them for the upcoming project in the uh, Escape and Evade bag um, that I have that will be coming. Uh, this is actually going to be part of that. Wait and see. All right. Then for the ammo part. First off, let's start with, I found a bulk bag here of 30 caliber uh, armor piercing, the old style armor piercing with the tungsten cores. Uh, these are great. No pull marks in them. And uh, I can put this in 308, uh, 300 wind mag. I can put these in uh, 30-06. Uh, they came out of 30-06, but I can put them in any 30-cal offering that I want to. Uh, and could you imagine these behind a 300 wind mag? That would be awesome. So I can put these in anything like that or 300 ultra mag. Woo, that would be awesome. So I got 58 of them in here. I can load uh, and have on hand. He also had loaded uh, armor piercing for 30-06 in E. Uh, uh, what do they call those? Uh, uh, com block, right? Uh, clips. So these clips, if you haven't seen them before, this is what it takes to load into an M1 Garand. This is what you push in and what goes bing out the, the top of it when it's empty to let you know it's empty. All loaded, all ready to go. All basically uh, old new stock. Um, has I mean, look at the great shape those things are in, right? And as you can see, they stick. Look at that. Ah, pulls it. Ah, right? So, great, great, great bullet to find. These are like starting to be like hen's teeth, right? Ever since, you know, uh, 
they started getting stringent on these kind of things, saying no more new ones for us, right? We can't have these kind of things. And fortunately, back in the day, I bought a whole bunch of 50 cal bullets that I could load uh, of all different types back in the day when we could get those, right? But, uh, uh, but right now, I mean, these things right here, you know, most people charge a dollar a piece or more for them or $2 a piece, as much as $3 a piece. I didn't pay that. Uh, of course, you know, I'm wheeling and dealing like always, but I got myself, let's see, one, two, and as you can see here in the back, one, two, three, four, five clips of those and one clip of, now these aren't just tracers. That's usually what the orange means. These are tracers, but they also, as you can see, have a steel core in them. So those are armor piercing tracers. How cool is that, right? These are handy, 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 right? And in, in, uh, especially in my M1, that'll be great. So got those while I was there, got a decent deal on those. I mean, on the internet, holy moly, that you wouldn't believe what they're charging for these things, right? But now the best part uh, in this paper bag right here, as you can see, look at that. Those are, now everybody be like, oh, those are just uh, AK-47 rounds. Well, they're not just AK-47 rounds. These are armor-piercing AK-47 rounds. Now, these are really hard to find, as you can see there. These are really hard to find because ever since Clinton and the Clinton ban and whatnot like that, and again in the Obama, and even currently right now, not being able to import Russian stuff, Look at this, right? That is just a find. And let me say it, all in good shape, all been stored properly. This guy's a pro. I saw how he stored them because uh, he brings pictures of his storage area. Look at this. I mean, that's just awesome. This is a handy, handy thing to have. Now, granted, I only got 30 of them, uh, but he gave me a great deal on 30, uh, you know, far less than a dollar a piece, which is really, really good. Uh, and this is the shining star. You want to talk about hen's hen's teeth. These are rare. These are unicorns these days, it seems like. Uh, I'm sure you can find them out there, but you'll pay. Uh, and I got, I have a box that I'm using to prop my camera on right now, but these are armor piercing 545 by 39 right there. And as you know, we did just get two. We have a uh, Palmetto State Arms 545 by 39 to head out to the range with when the weather gets better. And we have a Galil, right? Gen, uh, I think it's a Gen 1 Galil uh, rifle uh, configuration for 545 by 39. That is a great round to find. I got three boxes of them. I think one of the boxes is a little short. Uh, and I believe they're 30 round boxes. So I got almost 90 rounds. Uh, I think I'm short one or two. So that's okay. But man, what a score. So what do you think for this weekend's haul for not only the Sportsman Show, but the hunt for ammo? This is the kind of stuff why you go out hunting for it. And don't be afraid to bargain with the people, right? I mean, they can be a little crotchety sometimes and all that. But also remember, they got to feed their families too. If they're treating you fair, it's close to the internet or less, then pick it up. Support your local people because that's also how you build networks. I got his card and everything else. And when the time comes, say the flag does go up. Well, or down or whichever way you say it's supposed to go. I'm going to be able to call on this guy and he'll remember me that I was not only fair, but friendly. So until next time, stay safe, stay secure, always be aware of your surroundings, always carry, stay dangerous. And until next time, adios and aloha.